Negative LED Pro is an excellent software to convert your color film negatives, even black and white. Now here's the problem. You need Lightroom in order to use this amazing software. Now, what if you are not an Adobe user like me? I don't have any Adobe subscription, therefore I'm not able to use this um, little amazing plugin at all for my film photography. Now, there are many choices. Now, one of them that I particularly like, which is a free software called Fast Tone Image Viewer. Now, here is the image um, of, I believe, a Fuji C200 that I scanned with my Plustek 8100, I believe. Now, this is in TIFF. Now, simply, what you would have done, you would go on the side, on your left hand side, and there should be a button called negative right there. So when you click it, it just inverted automatically the, the, the file. Now, as you know, the, that's, it doesn't end there because you need to get it rid of this uh, color cast. Now, what do you do? Normally, I tried many options here. Now, one of them actually worked for me, which is auto adjust color. So if I click it, it tried to analyze it and take you to a decent looking images. Now, you still have a blue color cast on top of it, right? Um, now, again, you would go to the color. Normally, white balance also works too, but I would go to the color, the adjust color. Now, play with the brightness contrast gamma, but here is a problem with the color, notably the blue color. So I would play with the red channel, green channel, and blue channel. Now let's try with the blue. Now if I go down or up, let's see what it gives. Now I'm gonna go down just slightly. It's getting green. I'm gonna do the same thing with green, and same thing with I'm going to up the red just a notch, right? Then when it comes to brightness, maybe just a little bit up, up the contrast a little bit. Now it's getting a lot better. If you're looking at side by side already, huge difference. Now gamma, either you can put it up or down depends on how much brightness you have. Interesting note, there are not much of a difference between brightness and gamma. They both more or less play the same role, which is interesting that they put both of them at the same time. Anyway, different subjects. Now I'm going to add a touch saturation. Now I'm going to click OK and let's see what it gives. Now look, uh, extraordinary change. Now again, you have multiple options here, right? Now one of the other options that you can do, you can again click the auto adjust colors and see what it gives. Now, you can stop there and move on, or you can do fine tuning. Now, color is a very personal, personal uh, preference, meaning that uh, you may stick with it or you may not. And you can just continue editing over and over and over again. Now, this software, as much as it's free, uh, it doesn't have uh, many, many, many micro adjustments like Lightroom, Capture One, and so on. So this is just a quick and easy editing process. And most importantly, it's free. And it, as you can clearly see, it can do a pretty decent job. And you can continue to do on and on and on on top of it. For example, you can still go to the curves. Um, where is it? I'm going to find my curves. It should be somewhere here. There you go. Now, again, you can go to the each channel, like for example, I'm going to go to the red and see what it's giving. You see, it's actually doing a pretty decent job. Hey? If I do a S curve with my red and if I go to the green, maybe I'll reduce the green from the highlight, see what it gives uh, or don't move it at all. And similar with the blue. Now blue in the mid-tone area, let's see if I go up and down what it is giving me. So I'm going to go down just a micro notch at the mid-tone area and go up in the highlight area and then click OK. Seriously, I mean, I think we now have a very decent image. It took me how long? Not much. I would say five to ten, five, not even five minutes. 
most of the time it took me to explain you if I was doing the editing by myself it would have been taking way longer maybe one minute at tops because I know exactly what I have to do um, now you can again go back to the adjust colors add some saturation once again and click OK and maybe depends on the amount of sharpness I could go to sharpen and blur and put this little box wherever necessary and maybe I would add some sharpness here and hold down to see original image so this is the original this is after sharpness as you can clearly see that before and after and um, normally I would stick with minimum um, uh, sharpening sharpness available because too much sharpness may uh, make the photo look a little bit weird so I'm just gonna stay there click OK and guys amazing the, this is the final result of our quick edit in free software called fast tone image viewer now I remind you this image taken with the plus tech 8100 at tiff and most importantly uh, you don't have the same solution for everything which means that you can use more or less the same editing process for your own negative but you may have to do a slight micro adjustment uh, it's a image per image process but overall you should get a very decent result i hope you like this video if so you know come back later and i have plenty of other videos to show you look after yourself bye bye